But let's find out what we can expect over the next couple of weeks. Uh, Piers Corbyn is from weatheraction.com, the only people we trust with our climate uh, prognostications. Uh, evening, uh, Piers. Yes, good evening, Danny. Good to see good, you. Great to talk to you again, actually. Um, as I say, we, we tend to uh, go to you rather than the Met Office for various reasons I won't go into now. Uh, <laughs> well, I, oh, yeah, I remember the reason, because you tend to get it right. Yeah, that, there was, that's the there reason. What's the, um, what's the prognosis, what's the forecast well, for the next couple of weeks here in London? Well, unlike various people who were talking about another barbecue hotter than ever summer and all that nonsense, we said some time ago that it will not be like that and specifically for June we've got it getting wetter and wetter and for the 16th to 19th we had very definitely rain in the south which is why the test matches had some uh, problems and uh, the end of June early July we've also got uh, heavy rain in the south which uh, I'm afraid is going to mean problems for Wimbledon. Uh, except the centre court where they've got a roof, of course. Yeah, well, the, the roof is all right, but you've, you've got to get all the other games played. Well, uh, that's right. It, it, it's going to be, I would say, severe difficulties with that. For the whole two weeks? Yes. Um, it will. The first few days will be very bad, I would say, and then there will be a mixed bag. Well, um, the, 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 if people come on our website, there'll be more on there, weatheraction.com. Sure, but Piers, the, the issue is, um, uh, what, you know, a, a, a torrential thunderstorm or two doesn't do too bad at Wimbledon, you know, people get a chance mm. to go and have a few drinks. What you, what you, what really spoils things is sort of unending kind of drizzly weather, which, which, uh, yes. keeps, keeps people off the courts altogether. Is that what we're expecting? Well, I think we're going to have both sorts. No. It's, it's, it's not, it's not, no, it's, it's worse than the sort of, Sunshine and a thundery shower. It's, it's heavy stuff, uh, and uh, prolonged uh, at times as well. So should we, we should cancel it then? Well, I don't know. You, might, you might have to. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> kind of yeah, yeah, well, they should ask us when to have it, but I think it's a kind of clockwork thing for the next 10 years. They're probably mm-hmm. fixed when every game is going to happen, haven't they? As always, Piers, thanks for, uh, for joining us here on TalkSport. Thank Piers you. Corbin, you can see the proper weather forecast at weatheraction. Dot com. I'm not really uh, not uh, dis- disrespecting the, the meteorological office, but the people of Weather Action have a different view on how the weather should be forecast. And over the past four or five years, since I started following them, they have really been spot on.